Does anybody there? Does anybody care what I'm feeling? Hey, hey, my energy peeps. I am enjoying this wonderful new spring day. Can you feel it? Have you taken a moment to just step outside and to feel it? Have you ever been in a situation, have you ever been feeling this kind of remembrance, this hurt, and it kind of shows up uh, at the most inopportune times, right? Um, and it seems to nag on you. And this could be a really small hurt, or this could be a big hurt. And either way, there's just a few things you can do to actually dispel that hurt, to actually make it go away. And I don't mean go away like let's put it off to the side and address it at some point in the future. I mean actually you can feel better almost immediately. You can stop that hurt almost immediately. So I'm going to take my notes here. Bear with me. They're blowing so I'm sure it's distracting. So the first step I want you to consider is when you're feeling this thing, I want you to try to face it. I want you to try to identify what it is, what is it specifically, can you pinpoint to the exact moment of whatever that hurt, the manifestation of that hurt, and I want you to sit with that for a minute. And you can follow along with me because this will work right now. So a little small hurt, could have happened a week ago. Somebody said something in you, criticized you, made you feel less than you are, whatever. In other words, it twanged you in a way, right? And it's still twanging you a little bit. Well, we're heading into a weekend. Let's release this while we can, right? So, at the moment you're feeling this, okay? And whatever this hurt was, whatever, let's say, was said to you, the second thing I want you to do is to really think about what's really troubling you in that. It wasn't that they said this to you. It wasn't that they made you feel this way. <clears throat> it, it had to do with something else. So what you're looking for in order for you to dispel this hurt, for you to understand what it's showing you, what you haven't resolved yet, is to really ask yourself, what is that really showing me? Because it really wasn't what they said. It was bringing up something else in you. Maybe a truthful something else. Which brings me to the third thing I need you to be okay with, which is learning that maybe you are at fault. What if some of this hurt, what if the criticism thrown at you was true? What if whatever issue had occurred that you have this memory of that was a hurt, right? And that you had kind of like said, oh, well, this is what are the circumstances, this is what that person did, blah, 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 blah. What if you were at fault? And really, that's what's bringing up this hurt. You know, we have all been in the wrong. All of us. And that's part of this experience, but the experience is for you not to repeat that mistake. But it was a mistake. It also means that there is a time where if you do proper penance, right, if you are able to face it and address it, then you can let that go. And remember, there are only three things. There is theirs, and there is yours, and there is circumstance. And only one out of three things can you control, which is how you respond to a situation. So as we approach this new season, in, in our lifetime, in this springtime, right? Let's try something new. Let's try to face these issues, dispel them, and see how we grow. It's springtime. Let's grow. 